big day today. Load the nutty ram up, take it to the other farm where the other sheep are getting sheared so it can get a haircut as well. It's not exactly a haymaking day, very overcast. It's not raining, but it's not particularly warm and dry, which is a bit of a shame because we could have been we getting some of that grass tended out and um, maybe this, the bit that was thin that was cut first would have bailed this afternoon, but I don't think it will. There's just not enough heat in the day. You know, we'll see if it picks up later on. There's a bit of blue sort of over there somewhere, but it's, it's just a bit dull. Looks like the damaged fairy's been out again. Great. This is what we need. On the browser. See how easy it's going to go into the trailer. Get some bags to put the uh, fleece in. Tricked in with some stones in a bucket. <laughs> Top tip, if you ever get any animals out, just shake a bag or a bucket with some stones in the bottom and they think they're getting fed so they follow you. Making some funny noise. You're not happy, are you? Get an haircut, don't worry. Is that the last one? <laughs> He's been well behaved. <laughs> Having a little snooze now. Just in this oilseed rape now. There's plenty of bees in it, but there's quite a bit of weed. Just in this top corner here, which is a bit of a pain because we don't really want it in the sample when we combine it. And then if you look at some of this though, these pods are well formed now. It was the butterflies as well. This is one of the best fields of wheat. Nice, big heads, plenty of them. Still coming, coming out now. A few little ones down there, that's probably where it was held back with the drought and then it's got going again. But it's just bunches and bunches of wheat. Looks great. A little bit of grass in the gateway, but it's not too bad. It's clean as well, no disease in it. Off he goes, back to his grass, looking like a goat. Now he's been clipped, um, he won't get hot in the summer and overheat. That's why you shear sheep. You don't have to kill them to take the fleece off, despite what people, some people think. Mainly petter. TCB load all for someone there that gets excited about him. We prefer our merlots, but Danny's just been using the brush. It's brightened up a lot now today. The hay though, it's not really worth turning. So hopefully, the top layer will dry with this heat we've got now and these sort of clear skies and tomorrow we'll tead it so we're basically tedding means we're turning it over so hopefully what's on the bottom will end up on the top and the dry stuff on the top will end up on the bottom and it'll sort of bake it consistently right through because if you bale it when it's too wet it'll sweat in the bales self-heat up and it could potentially go on fire oil on their own so we have to make sure it's a certain moisture level before we bale it otherwise you're just basically making a mess if it's haylage so you could bale it damper, wrap it in plastic, then it'll ferment with inside the plastic, but there's no air, so it can't go on fire. It kind of like cooks within itself and makes itself, a, you know, a more richer product, but not all horses can have haylage because it can be too rich for them. Yesterday I was putting weed control on the beans. Today, well, I'm, I'm probably gonna go on to barley or wheat again. I'm gonna wash out, I'm gonna connect the water hose to the back of the sprayer up some clean water into the main tank and then fill what we call a wash tank and then I can go out and fill the beans that we were spraying same chemical on and basically 
rinse out with clean water so we put that switch on there that starts the pump from the back open the tap and then turn this tap on here and we'll take water out of that big tank there and fill the one on there and then we'll also open this valve and that'll fill the wash tank at the same time as the main tank so we'll basically have like 300 litres in the wash tank so four or five hundred litres in the main tank go out spray the main tank empty pull the clean water out of the wash tank into the main tank that's got springs on the top that spin round rinses the tank out and then spray that out again so when i finished the field i was on last i also rinsed out with the wash tank then so we'd have had three rinses so then when i go on to wheat that herbicide i had in that was the kill broadleaf wheat in beans won't damage any of the wheat to the barley i'm going to go on to next it probably wouldn't have done anyway but it's always best to wash out between varieties that's just what i'm going to do now lots of people have tagged me in a video of a little wackanoose and telly animal like the one we had on demo pushing a car out of a farmer's driveway onto the road and flipping it over i've been tagging it loads of times now on facebook to the point where i've basically shared it myself with the comment that i don't really condone it because i don't want loads of people tagging me in it again but yeah obviously there's a bit more to the story and the farmer's got fed up so he's got his little wackanoose and telly animal picked the car up shoved it onto the road and flipped it upside down and then as he turns around he actually knocks the guy off his feet which is a bit dangerous as well so um, I think he's going to be in trouble over that but it's a bit of a viral video it's, it's kind of funny but um, well no one's injured so I suppose it is funny so I'll, I'll put it in here now so you can see what everyone's going on about anyway So as much as sometimes you want to try that at home, it's not advisable. But what a capable machine the little Wackanoosen is. I mean, obviously the Mini Merlot is better still. But, incredible, 2.7 tonnes and it just throws that car around like it doesn't even exist. Like an egg box. Washing out here, there's it right in the middle of the boom there. We've got a rainbow, because it's so sunny. But they look quite like thirsty these to be honest a few thistles on it as well uh, the ground looks so dry a bit thicker over there i don't know why they're a bit thinner here probably a bit stickier when we sowed it and the crows probably got all of some of them just in the field now pulling the water from the clean water tank into the into the main tank to wash it out so from the, the wash tank and i've just stopped and i've just found this on this leaf here which is probably you can see with the sun bit of chocolate spot not ideal but it's on a really mature plant with lots of flowers on it so you remember like a week ago we had no flowers and now we've got loads that are about a foot taller and as i was climbing down the steps there was actually a bee on it as well anyway that's disappeared now because obviously i was climbing off but there's another plant here as well actually and it's got a little bit on so you there so we're probably gonna have to put a fungicide on these very soon otherwise the whole things will end up brown will capture no sunlight and will give us no yield. Hopefully that buzzard's eating the pigeons over the sunflower field. There's the stick, there's the leaf in the sunflower field. So that's probably grown now. 20 mil in two days. So that's 10 mil a day. So if we think in, get to a meter high, another metre higher that's 100 days so it's actually going to start growing even quicker than that because they'll well be I don't know sort of six to eight weeks they'll probably be a good metre high so it must just keep getting quicker and quicker and quicker as the days get longer and it gets enough moisture as the roots get bigger and bigger this sunflower now is about a foot tall seems it's a few of them are then if we go over here where it's a bit weedier the no one near they're only sort of six inches tall and obviously we've got this sticky weed anyway we're going to try spraying that with something tomorrow just a little patch just to see what it does
If we go over here, this is the wild oats. It was swamping it all out. Well, if you look at these, gone yellow and crispy now. They're basically dead, which is good. But again, you see how small the sunflowers are amongst them because they've nicked all the sunlight and all the nutrients. And hopefully they'll catch up now because as that rots and dies, it should start releasing stuff back out of the, it's, it's sort of like rotting vegetation. It'll take a while, but hopefully they'll leave them back out again. But this is just this sticky weed here. It's just like swamping them, holding them back, trying to climb up them. Cleavers is a technical term. This is, again, it's where it's wild oaty and cleavery. Quite thin and spindly, but they are rising out above it. Oh well, there's no pigeons on this bit today on the sweet corn or the sunflowers that we sown sort of two weeks ago this Thursday. But also, oh no, that's not one. I can't actually see any poking up because of any that were poking up, the pigeons have already taken. Oh, there's one there. Just coming up now. If you volunteer oil seed rape, but that looks like a sunflower. And that's a volunteer oil seed rape, which is what we don't really want in here. We'll go and see if we can see some sweet corn. That's good. We've got some sweet corn and it looks really lush and healthy. Got another one there, another one there. There's quite a few actually. Can't really see them in rows quite. But there's a few green bits in the field, so that's good. Yeah, they look really healthy then. I don't even think they were up yesterday. So that's good. This one's only just come up, so I've put a stick there next to it. So it's literally this the height of the stick. So we'll see what it is tomorrow, how much bigger it is. The sweet corn really should grow a lot faster than the sunflowers. So it'll be interesting to see against that stick. It's just level at the top of what it'll be tomorrow. Just at the S now of the NHS where we've sown the cornflowers. And I'm not sure whether that's them. I know that isn't. That's a weed, I'm sure. That's fat hen. But that, them spiky things, might be the cornflowers. I don't know. But there's a lot of them, and there's none nearby. So that could be what we'd sow. Or are they all weeds? And that's a cornflower. And that's a cornflower. And that's a cornflower. Know what these are here because when you look on the internet you don't see any of these purple bits on the leaves after a bit of googling i think that's red shank hence why it's got a red stem and i think that is a cornflower it's a bit more like dandelion looking and then there's another one over there somewhere coming up another one there so that might be it as well be nice as that was all cornflowers though got this little nifty camera it's basically a fake gopro i lost my gopro camera and i've got bought a cheap one to see how good it is it's got this little waterproof case so i'm going to use it for doing a time lapse so but this, today's quiz question is can you guess which time lapse it's, what what time lapse i'm going to do with it during the period of a day anyway that's about it if you've if you've watched to the end don't forget to click like uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed i think you can watch another video there or you can subscribe over here i'll see you tomorrow and we'll see if we get some hay baled